You guys have done a great job at solving problems that have positive integers, but let's go ahead and review how to do them when there's negative integers just to keep it fresh in our brains. So we know most of these steps that we want to do. So over here we have x plus 4 equals negative 6. So we already know that we're going to have to subtract positive 4 from over here and do the same over there. So let's go ahead and write that down. And solve it. So on my left side, I'm going to be left with x, because these will cancel out. And then I have to solve the problem negative 6 minus 4. So remember, if you're on a number line, that would start us at negative 6. And then subtraction tells us to go to the left four times. So we would jump over 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then by counting backwards, I know I'd be negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, and negative 10. So our x would have equaled negative 10. All right, let's take a look at our other one with where we have some negative integers involved. This one is a two-step. So first, we're going to look over here, and we're going to get rid of the part that does not have the variable first. So we are going to do the opposite, and we're going to add 8. So let's write that for both the sides. Okay, I know this will cancel out. On the left side, I'll be left with 2x equals, and now this is the part I have to solve, negative 2 plus 8. So again, I've drawn a number line to help us review. So I start at negative 2, and then by adding 8, that means I'm going to go to the right 8. So let's go ahead and do our jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then counting towards the right, this would be negative 2, negative 1, 0. Then we'd get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So right now we know that this would equal 6. Next step, I'm going to have to look and see. I'm going to divide both sides by 2. Okay, so 2's would be canceled out. I'd be left with x, and then I can see that 6 divided by 2 would be 3. So for this problem, x equals 3. Okay, let's try some different ones. This time we have x minus negative 5, so there's our negative integer, equals 8. Now this one, I saw some common mistakes, and I totally understand why. So we're going to do the opposite of what we see here, but that doesn't mean I'm going to add 5. It means I'm going to add, because this is the actual operation. So I'm going to, let me slowly write that out for you guys so you understand what I'm saying. We're going to add negative 5. So you'll have to think about that with the other ones when it was things like x uh, minus 6. We weren't doing the opposite operation and the opposite integer, we were keeping the integer the same. It was just the opposite operation. So same goes for when we're working with negative integers. All right, let's get rid of this and keep solving my problem. So then on this side, I'm going to also do the same thing. I'm probably going to write it a little bit over to the side just because of space. So I'm going to add negative 5. So again, we know these would cancel out, leaving me with my x. Now the problem I'm solving is 8 plus negative 5. So what I'm going to remember is when I'm adding and they are opposite, so one has a positive and one is a negative, I'm really going to subtract them. So I look for which one is bigger and which one's smaller, and I'm going to put in that order. In this case, they're already written where the bigger one is first here. Pretend as if there's no negative symbol. So what would it be if it was 8 minus 5? That would get me 3. Now, before I pick that as my final answer, I just double check. This one is negative 5, and this one is positive 8. So which one has a higher absolute value? Well, that would be our 8, which is positive. 
meaning that our three should be positive. So yes, we are going to stick with positive three for this one. So in this case, x equals positive three. Okay, let's move on to our next one. So again, we can see that we have an operation with a negative integer. So let's see if you remember, how would I set this up similar to how I did the other one? Well, I should do the opposite operation. So in this case, I'd be subtracting, and I'm subtracting the integer as it is, so negative four. All right, so do that on the other side, six minus negative four. All right, these will cancel out. I will get x left. Now the problem I have to solve is what is six minus negative four. So now for this one, See so if you remember from when we learned this, we take the two parts of the negative symbol and we turn them into an addition problem. So that'd be the easiest way to solve it. So really we're gonna rewrite it as six and then we're taking these two subtracting, subtraction pieces and here's the one subtraction and then we're just tilting the other one, make it a plus. And we are gonna instead add four. So six plus four equals 10. So we went ahead and solved all of our equations, but this time having some negative integers in them.